Hi, welcome back. I hope that you're doing well. I hope that you're all having a really nice summer. My summer so far has been pretty good. Uh, we did a little traveling to a family wedding uh, last weekend, and uh, my health has been pretty good. I've had little setbacks, but nothing that medication and a lot of TLC hasn't helped. So I'm going to do for you, as you can see, I've already started this eye look. I wore this eye look last night on a little date with my husband, and he really liked it. So I thought today that I would show you how I did it, and I'm kind of in the process of still doing it. So first thing I want to tell you about my foundation and what I wore underneath it. I purchased this Laura Geller Spackle Primer, and it's an under makeup primer. And I purchased it in a kit with um, her Balance and Brighten. And I'm really enjoying this. Um, see, I haven't recorded for a while, so my words are getting stuck. This primer a lot. Um, it helps my face to stay moisturized, and it just feels really cool. And um, especially in the summer, that's just such a nice feeling on your face. And it also helps with my Estee Lauder Double Wear. Um, I like this foundation, but sometimes it could get a little too drying on me. But if I use my SPF or moisturizer if I'm going out in the evening, um, first let that dry, then use the spackle, and then this, and put it on with um, something like this, a stippling brush. This is one by Real Techniques. And I stipple it on first and sort of blend it with my fingers, sometimes a little bit um, of a beauty blender and really start light and just build up. I like the way it looks. Now I've also put a little bit of blush and this is also by Laura Geller. I've had this for a while. This is not a sponsored video, just stuff that I'm using. This is the Blush and Brighten in Boysenberry. And this reminds me of that um, uh, Laura Mercier they have a um, bronzer that was real popular, and then they brought it back as a permanent in their collection. I don't have it yet, but I have it sort of on a mental wish list. I'm going to put a little bit more of that so you can see it more. And it works nice as kind of like a, a blushing, a, a bronzy blush. with, And all of them are different because it's a baked one. So this one has a little bit of pink. Uh, a little bit of like a beige, a little bit of brown, so really cute. If you can, really nice, I should say. If you can pick this up, I recommend that highly. All right, now I'm using the Moonstruck uh, Unique Unique Moonstruck Addiction Palette 1. And this is the one that has the beautiful brown colors, as you can see. I've used this um, pretty much since I've gotten it. Now, what I've done, I will show you on this eye, and then I will continue. And I think I'm going to put a clip on this side. Okay. And the brush is all out, and then I put them away. I'm going to go in with just any brush that you're comfortable with into this gold shimmery color that is called uh, Brassy. And I'm going to go in the middle of the movable lid. Go back and put a little more here. Then I'm going to take another brush. What do I do with that one brush? I'll just use this one. And I'm going to go in with the into this color Chipper, which is a matte, um, like medium dark brown. And I'm putting some right there in the inner corner. I have some puffiness there, and I think that that look with the darkness there, or the darkness, the darker shadow, kind of recedes it, and I like the look, and so did my husband. And as you can see, now I'm putting some in the outer corner, just a little bit at the time, and press very lightly when you're pressing your brush if you have this palette because it is so pigmented, which is beautiful. The colors last so long, but it picks up the shadow like really well. So if you're a little heavy handed, as I can be sometimes, try to remember to go in with it lightly so you don't have to take more off. Now I'm going to go in with this really dark brown, it's called Forthright. That's the color there. Sorry about that finger. 
and I'm going to put some at the outer corner so we're making a kind of sloppy V can see with the lights and I'm trying to work with that and my brush now I'm going to blend that and I like to like blend it in and then up and then take it and go across on the top and I'm going to go back and get a little bit more of that chipper which is that like a little dark brown but not darkest there. And the blending brush. Put that up. Now I'm going to take an angled brush like this and I'm going to go into the fourth right color which was the real dark color. And then the one on the far right, which is Zealous, which is between dark and darker. <laughs> and it sort of has a like a little tinge of a green in it, which I like a lot. And I'm going to line my top lash line just with the powder. But I'm only going right where the pupil starts. Back, take that. You could use a liquid liner or pencil, whatever you're comfortable with. But I, I just like the way this looks. Then I'm going to go back to those two colors. I have to tap it off and I have a brush hair on me. And I'm going to line the bottom line, lash line, just where that pupil is. So it's just the outside. And I can put this down a bit easier for me. And if you need to lift it up a little bit, that's fine too. You might get a little fallout, but just um, I'll show you what I do with that. I'm going to take just a baby wipe or um, this is just a like a makeup removing wipe that I purchased at uh, TJ Maxx. I pick them up specifically for that. And clean underneath there a little bit of the the um, I put uh, the my words are all mixed up today um, double wear uh, on the bottom today because I wanted to see how it work that came off but that's all right okay now I'm gonna go in with another blending brush just something like that and I'm gonna blend that even better so it doesn't look so harsh we're not going to put any more shadow on. We're going to leave the top just blank because I think that you have a lot of color here going on and the focus is really where I want it to be. If you want to highlight it there, that's fine too. Now I'm going to go back and I'm going to take a little bit more of the colors that I use for lining. So that's Fort Wright and Jealous. No, Zealous. I'm going to re-line that top. You can always use like matte colors too. The, the shimmery one that I have in the middle, it kind of goes like all over, but in, in a nice light way. I just kind of check there. Okay, now I'm going to curl my eyelashes. I need to get a new eyelash curler. I just picked this one up while we were out of town. So my tweezer men one broke. I had it for quite a while, so I hope I'm talking loud enough for you. All right, now I'm going to take um, this MAC Extended Play Lash Mascara. And this is a mascara that I usually use for my bottom lashes only. But I tried it out on my top yesterday and I really liked it. I'm just kind of going closer and I'll just move my mirror. But 
I'm not getting out of the camera angle. Didn't set up my little board or wall today. Just thought I'd sit here and kind of do a casual video. I think it's been about a month since I've gotten behind camera and recorded. I have some um, interesting, exciting things coming up that I'll talk about at another date. Not related to YouTube, but because of YouTube, or because not because of YouTube, because my channel on my beauty channel. You can put as much mas uh, mascara as you want. I like this mascara because it builds up nicely. It dries fast, but you can go in and really get the lashes nice and full. Now after like an hour, you're going to be dragging your lashes, but I don't really touch up my mascara once I put it on. Okay, now I'm going to take this Pixi Corrector and I'm really on the bottom of that. I'm debating whether I'm going to get another one of these or try the uh, Becca Corrector. I know I've seen a couple people on YouTube that really like it. And I saw a video last night, somebody dem demonstrating it. Um, it was uh, this real talented makeup artist. Uh, I think her name, I'll put it down below, but she goes by Let's Makeup. And I, she's from Ireland. And she was demoing it, and it really looked interesting. So, I don't know, I might might get that. I do like the Pixi Corrector, but a lot of times if I do finish a product, I like to, you know, try something similar. Okay. Now, I'm going to go back just with this flat brush here and sort of blend this a little better. It's a little too dark for my liking. There, that's better. And now I'm going to take a little bit of concealer, the Mineral Touch by Unique. And I just rub it between my two fingers here. And then I bring it like a little lower. And this takes care of the darkness and takes care of the, sh the shimmery eyeshadow that went down too low. Okay, I'm going to whoop, <laughs> almost knock something there. I'm going to take this beauty blender and I'm just going to spray a little prep and prime on it. Normally I would get it wet in the sink, but I'm trying to save a little time here. And then I'm just going to go under and blend this. You can also use this to kind of wipe this up so that it's more of an angle. And I'll, I'll put the camera closer in a minute so you can see. There. Now I'm going to go back and do my eyebrow on this side that I forgot. And that I also did with this palette. So this palette is really nice because you can take it traveling and you've got your whole eye look here. And if you want to like do a little bit extra color bring like a blue eyeliner or a green eyeliner and put that either on the bottom lash line or top or both and you've got to pop a color even purple um, I'm going to go in with this color here the last one and a little bit of the the chipper and the zealous and that same angled liner I'm um, ang angled liner angled blood brush that I used for my eyeliner, I'm going to use and just fill in the brows. 
this is also something that I kind of go back and forth using shadows and pencils. I think when I use shadows for my eyebrows, I find that it's more of a natural look. And I'm fortunate where I do have a good amount of brow and they're still dark. So um, I don't really need to, to totally reshape them or to totally, totally, to draw them on. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this Hourglass uh, Diffuse Light. This was one of those products that I just hung on to because I thought, hmm, there's something about it they like, and there's something about it I don't like. I'm going to just keep it, and I do like it. And I just pat this little uh, brush. It's by Real Techniques. It's, uh, can't read it with the lighting the setting brush. Just tap it like one time, go into that under eye just to set that. Another thing I'm going to try, I want to try the Laura, Laura Geller um, Secret Brightening Powder. That seems to be something that people really like. Then I'm going to take a little bit and put it kind of on the top of, not kind of, but do on the top of my cheekbone there. Put a little bit down the center of my nose, a little bit here. I get a little tiny bit oily in the T zone. I don't really mind it because I'd rather be oily than dry, to be honest with you. Dry, when, you, when my face feels dry, it just feels so uncomfortable. And then the last step, I'm going to use this matte, believe it or not, because I hardly use mattes. This is a matte need my readers for this one and I have them today <laughs> it's 660 touch of spice this is by Maybelline and it's one of their I don't know what it's called it just comes in one of these kind of a uh, mauve cases and right on top of that lip balm that I had I really like this. I should talk after I put it on. I like this uh, lipstick a lot. The color is very different for me, which I like it. And then also, even without a balm underneath, it, it still just looks really nice. Even when it's real matte. Okay, now the last step that I usually do is I just kind of take a big stippling brush or a big powder brush, whatever you have. Just go around and blend. I noticed I watched an old video, well not old, but it was a few months old, where I was using my Unique Touch Foundation, which I still use, and I didn't blend it enough in this whole area, and I kept saying, like screaming to myself, oh no, <laughs> but oh well. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, and um, oh, I wanted to go closer with Maz. Ooh, no, that's back. So this is the look. Trying to see if you can see that. That's the way it looks on the side. Like I said, you can always put more color. Um, like a blue eyeliner looks really good. Green looks really good with this. Um, you know, just kind of do it your own, your own way. So if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below or send me a private, private message here. Um, I do want to thank my new subscribers. I've gotten a few new people. I welcome you here with open arms. And to those of you who have been with me and are so patient when I kind of have to take my little breaks, I really appreciate it. Um, I'm going to be recording more. And I think I'll try to do a video right after this. If I don't, for sure this week I'll be recording and uploading more and like I said earlier I hope that you're having a great summer and I hope that you're having a great morning afternoon evening night whatever time of day that you're watching this I send you lots of love bye bye